So last week um, I did a quick sort of summary of what I want to achieve um, in this tutorial series and I'm going to be taking you guys every step of the way. In the last video I made a button which makes a very simple clicking sound so that's that. Um, the way I did that uh, originally was I hard coded the event button click into a script which I attached to the button. Um, I wasn't very happy with this because obviously if you have to hard code something every single time it means you have to make a custom script for each button that you want to use. So I just did a little bit of digging around. Um, I went onto the um, wise uh, wizards and witches forum on Facebook which is great. I had a little conversation about the best way to do it and came up with this idea which is my final script which has uh, the public AKYs event which gives you a little thing there to open field to put your button click in. Um, wise picker, button click, pull that in there and then that makes the event play that you want, the correct one. If I want to change it I can do block damage and then that goes to block damage. Um, by one button click, I'll put that back. So if we just take a look at the event, you need to expose that variable. So it turns up over there. And then also this needs to be public as well, the, the on click, which um, was something that stumped me originally. And that is because the way you have to set it up is on your button in the inspector, you have to set this up, which is on runtime, you add another one of these. I don't need another one. Uh, and then you say what you want it to reference, which is the button. So you drag that in. You get this from your script, the wise button script, which is the one that we made in the project. That's the wise button script. Uh, just to reiterate, that is this one with the public void on click. Um, go here, wise button, and then you can select on click. And that is why you have to have this public. Otherwise it doesn't appear and you can't get the button to work. So I'll just put both versions on the screen for a second. So if you want to copy them. Uh, eventually I'd quite like to have something happen when you hover your mouse over it. And then I'll also make a corresponding sound with that as well. But that's for a later video. Cheers. Bye.